Hi guys, um, I wanted to give you guys two or three quick messages and um, I had received a dream from the Lord uh, about a week and a half ago and about we, another one about a month and a half, two months ago and um, this is the first one, this is the most recent one. He said, and it sounded just like this, the voice sounded just like this. And he said just that, he said, I am that I am. And then he said it again. He said, I am that I am. Who do you think I am? I said, you are love. You are the light. You are the light in the darkness. And the dream ended. And I wasn't sure what to think of that. I know times are getting darker. So I thought when it gets darker and darker, he'll be our light for us in the darkness but I started getting I started seeing confirmations and dreams from other people they're getting about the darkness and Marley has like two or three videos now of the darkness and you'll want to go to her site he talks about this real quick And she talks right here. It kind of clicked after I seen her first video about the darkness. And it totally made sense now why he gave me that. Darkness is coming. Unlike anything we've ever seen. Prepare now mm -hmm. before it gets here. Because when it gets here, it will be too late. So, um, it clicked in my mind that that's what he means. She was talking about it. She had a dream and she said the darkness is coming. It's not what you think it's going to be. And we're going to get lights out. And she said to prepare. And we've known to prepare. We knew the lights were going to go out the power I've been trying to get what I can but you guys need to get what you can mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. so this is going to be happening soon so the next one that was older mm -hmm. month and a half two months ago I got like Henry Groover uh, in the he told me some words and it was before it was while I was dreaming. He said cities will burn Henry Groover and I'm not good at remembering names. So <laughs> matter of fact, after I woke up, I was trying to remember the last name. I've heard of him before and <clears throat> people's mentioned him, but um, I looked it up and you may want to watch this video. He talks about the cities and what's going to happen. And also, she came out with a recent video, Latter Day 333. It is this right here. Warning, get out of the cities. So, cities are going to burn. And in this one with Marley... This guy, he talks about um, the Statue of Liberty will be underwater. You'll just see her head and a, a little bit of her torch sticking out. But I got that a long time ago as far as um, um, 
I got that a long time ago as far as um, <clears throat> I got a dream that I was walking around like an angel. Like I was in the uh, in the view like mm -hmm. angels. Like I was in looking in their point of view. And I was like I was sitting on a giant huge wall and I could see monuments that looked like Washington DC and then in another view it looked like um it looked like I was observing people and I was walking around a mall or wherever and people were sinning or going to sin or thinking about sinning or in the process of sinning and it was like we were observing them. And then all of a sudden I come up to one of them and I said, your Statue of Liberty is going to burn. Or your Statue of Liberty will be destroyed. Sorry. And then <clears throat> the dream ended. So I knew it was Washington mm -hmm. and New York. So we're going to see those two go first, probably. But... Anyway, in my spirit, the Lord also told me to go back and look up Juno. He had me look up Juno because I said it was an asteroid, and it is. But there's also another meaning, and I didn't pay attention to it. So he had me go back. And it means, oh, let's see here. Right here, the name is sometimes used in a general way to refer to any woman considered regal. So, it is, it's like the queen of heaven or whatever, being regal. And if you look up the name, regal, it means fit for a monarch. Are relating to or suitable for a king. Mm -hmm. I was like wowed by that because mm -hmm. it's just like an aster. We're getting prepared to meet the king. And he gave me this. It's relating to or suitable for a king. And that's what it means. It's come from the Greek for... Um, the Roman mythology, Queen of Heaven. Mm. And there's another meaning too. Mm. Suitable for a monarch. Mm. And we are royalty. We will be royalty. Because like an Esther in Pastor Sandy's, um, mm. he had a, a sermon. He talked about Esther. And in Esther, she was getting prepared to meet the king. All about Esther, we're getting prepared to meet the king. So I thought that was really cool. And I didn't even, the double meaning is so cool. And it is a marriage asteroid. It's the marriage asteroid. So I thought that was neat. And him, to say this, he's going to be the light in the darkness. Remember that, guys. He's going to be the light. And I think he's going to do miracles for us. He's just not going to leave us struggling. I really don't believe that. He had us get stuff. But I really don't believe we're going to be all struggling through this necessarily. We might for a little while. But I think He's going to do some miracles. I really do. I'm getting the hint in my spirit that I, I really believe he's going to do something for us. So we just watch and wait. He said, do not fear. I went to Sparrow Cloud 9. Uh, Tim Foster has that. He has a link. 405. 
Tim Foster 405. He has a link and you go to Aaron's Dream and she talks about when this power goes out and other things. And there's going to be people. It's almost like we're going to be either transformed or he's going to show who we are eventually. Don't know. Don't know. I really believe in my spirit that something is going to happen. It could be the first month. She says it's three months. Um, Marley's inspiration says it's three months, not three days, that we're going to be in darkness. So that could be probably why going to start the cities to burn possibly people are going to riot especially in the big cities it's going to be chaotic they're already catching on we're going to be low on food so we really going to have to trust in him and be prepared and he he said many many times to people do not fear and I'm trying not to fear. Sometimes I find myself welling up with fear and I'm like, no, I can't be that way. We just have to trust in him. Anyway, I thought I'd bring that message. God bless.